things away. That was Fox's Eric Pointer reporting. The school district is reportedly planning on buying 800 magnetically sealed pouches, costing about $19 each. Well, that's it for us. The Four on Two, KTVU Fox 2 News at 5, begins right after the break. Summer's almost over. Let the celebration begin. It's Northern California Honda Dealers end of summer celebration with incredible offers on the fuel efficient Civic, delivering up to 42 MPG. Yeah. On the versatile CRV, 2018 Motor Trend SUV of the Year. And on Odyssey, chosen 2018 Best Minivan for Families by US News. Hurry, our celebration ends September 4th. See your NorCal Honda dealer now. It's a big deal for the East Bay. Get a sneak peek inside the free bike park opening in Richmond. How even people who don't have a bike can still join the fun. Tomorrow on Mornings on 2. If you're like the majority of Americans, you're actually a low mileage driver. Short trips around town, road trips out of town, a short commute or a no commute. However you drive, you're probably paying too much for car insurance. Introducing Metro Mile, the leader in pay per mile car insurance. Here's how it works. You get a low rate starting at $29, then pay just pennies per mile. With comprehensive claim services, it's the same great coverage for a fraction of the cost. And don't worry if you need to hit the road. All miles over 250 a day are free. Stop paying the same rate as someone who drives five times as much. Stop wasting money on miles you aren't using. If you don't drive much because you like planet Earth, pay per mile and cut your bill in half. If you're on transit more than you're in traffic, pay per mile could cut your bill in half. If your ride stays parked eight hours a day, pay per mile car insurance could cut your bill in half. If you have a car but don't drive very far, stop paying for miles you don't drive and get full coverage for less. Visit GoMetroMile.com for a free quote today. KTBU Fox 2 News at 5 starts now. A gun goes off inside a San Francisco school. Four students have now been detained. The incident led to a massive police response and a lot of panicked parents. Now I'm like amongst the ranks of parents who've stood outside of police tape outside my child's school. Good evening, everyone. I'm Heather Holmes. And I'm Alex Savage. Frank and Julie both are off tonight. Those reports of gunfire put Balboa High School and two other nearby schools on lockdowns. The lockdowns have since been lifted. KTVU's Christina Rendon has been there all afternoon and joins us live from outside the school with the latest on the investigation. Christina. Well, Alex, Heather, we just received an update from San Francisco police within the last 10 minutes. They do say they have four students in custody at this hour and that a gun did, in fact, discharge in one of the classrooms here at Balboa High School. And when parents heard that there was a possible gunfire inside the school, they obviously were very concerned, rushed down to the school to see what they could find out. And they are just thankful that everything is safe tonight. Cell phone